the mathematical physics is a is is a great source of it's just fantastic source of mathematical problem and it's the bonus on that is that these problems come with a, come with a certain context so it's they're not problems uh, that uh, they're not problems out of nowhere there's a certain you have a uh, they come in context they have a certain intuition with certain expectation of what is supposed to happen or certain maybe maybe uh, maybe some important questions and also there's some there's some uh, inherent there there already some you know, you know if it's a physical problem you know uh, what the players could be what would be what would be whatever whatever mathematical constructions you're going to do this will be you can you can try to somehow connect them with uh, with 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 maybe more uh, maybe less precise but very powerful physical intuition physicists have a really powerful ways of thinking about our world maybe not they maybe not uh, 100% mathematical proofs, but they're extremely powerful, and so that's uh, this is, this really helps. So I've uh, I always encourage people to. And it's you can you can invent a math problem for anywhere. You can and it could be a very deep problem, but it's a uh, it's a uh, but it could be also uh, a completely made up problem. If you just think of if you ask a random math question, your chances of asking a deep question you know, maybe not so great. But if it, uh, if, if it's a question that comes from a, a big a big, uh, a big joint pursuit of, of mathematical mathematicians and physicists, and in fact other natural scientists, to understand the actual universe in which we live. Then, then it's uh, or or some maybe. <laughs> so physicists now think not just about the universe in which we live. It's likely that coming back to the discussion we had before, you can you can also think about universes in which we could have lived or somebody else could have lived and that's that's important mathematical is very important it's just if it's a, something you know something makes sense it has to make sense not just in one particular instance but in in in, in much larger context so that's uh, so everybody of course thinks that mathematics is about proofs so somehow so mathematical physics is somehow many people criticize us for trying to prove things that are maybe physically obvious or trying to I've, I've heard speak that they somehow, for a physicist, mathematical physics is like mathematically understand events that happen, the natural phenomena that happen, and for a mathematician, the, it, this is this is this, this, this is a thought I heard. So for mathematicians, use math to somehow rigorously exclude events that nobody has ever seen. So which is, that, that's not true. I think mathematicians also care about things that. Uh, that uh, that actually do happen, but I think the main difference is that we look. Proof is like I said, proof is secondary. The main thing is we, we need the mathematicians look for definition. So mathematicians like to to understand very precisely what is it that they're talking about. What's the right what's the right what's the right feature that distinguishes the objects studied from all other objects. Uh, scientists do this maybe not. Not very explicitly. They are, of course they understand that they, they, they have some main example in mind, and then they they know there are more examples, but maybe slightly different. Then there may be more examples, they're yet more different. And for them, for them, the class of things you study is more like some kind of uh, more like a smooth cut of function, it's some some kind of decay. And this is this is what I study. And then there are things which are kind of like that but slightly different and then but it's 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 more like interpolate between whereas mathematicians like to have uh, would like to have a, a, sh a sharp boundary would like to define a certain class of objects about which something can be said precisely not something which is you'd like in you know, my theory is going to apply to some objects very well and then less to the other less to the other will be some theory that applies to a certain object and to write this this uh, to think of what is the right class of Objects to consider. What's the right class of question to ask? Have this kind of sharp boundary about which sometimes sharp mathematical statement be made. So that I think this is the main difference between how mathematicians and scientists approach the question.